Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to discuss about controlled and uncontrolled components in React.js. Sometimes developers are really struggling to differentiate between these two components. But today I'm going to explain with really simple examples so that you can differentiate the components and controlled components and uncontrolled components. So guys, let's get started. So before writing our code, you can uh, find out the complete React.js developer course uh, playlist in my descriptions. And I hope you are enjoying all the videos. I, and in my last video, I actually covered the topic forward referencing in React.js. And I'm going to upload all the source code on this link. You can find out github slash progress slash React.js complete course. So guys, let's get started and write the code. So now I'm going to create a new folder for control and uncontrolled components. So I'm going to say new for control and uncontrolled components. So this is a new folder. And now I'm going to first I'm going to create a control component class. So basically what is control component? I'm going to explain first control component and then the uncontrolled component. Actually the control components and remember one thing control components are the components where we manage the input values through react states and one thing also very important and in, uh, in the control or uncontrolled components we need to have the input controls otherwise we cannot differentiate them and uncontrolled component i will explain in after this so i'm going to say control component and i'm going to say it right i'm going to return something and now i'm going to pass a div here and h1 and an h1 for h1 uh, I need to, oh, I will say something later on, default this, right? Cool. And in the H1, I can pass the control component in React.js. It looks good. And now I'm going to pass the class name because I need to show that in the middle. So all I need to do is heading and I've already created the CSS. You can download the CSS and, and use that from the GitHub. It's not very difficult thing. You can easily use the CSS right guys and now uh, I'm going to create an input control I know you have already uh, done this examples but uh, we uh, sometimes don't can't differentiate it and in our interviews we miss little things and fail our interview mistakenly so now I'm going to use a use state because in control components we are managing our input values and updating or managing our values through react states. So now I'm use, going to use say use state and I'm going to pass some default value and I'm going to say it well and set well and set well, right? I've explained use state in, in my previous videos, guys, so don't worry. You can see all those videos. Now I'm going to bind this well uh, value with this well state. And on on change, I'm going to say it on on change. I if I make any changes, I can simply take the input from this and I'm going to say it set value. It is going to update the use state. And in this, I'm going to pass it e dot target. It's going to pass the value, current value, whatever we are changing it to this uh, function and it is going to update it and we, we can see this value as well as on a p tag I will, I'm going to say is value entered and here I'm going to say this right so now if I go and I need to call this and I'm going to commit this and now I'm going to say I'm going to import this and passing the URL control and control components and like this good great so now if i go on the output there's no output is it's not showing any output why there we need to find out the reason control component and i'm passing this yes i have not called it here which is okay so now you can see here control component in react.js so control components are those components uh, whose input values was controlled by react states now i'm going to say hey i i am controlled component now 
because my input values are controlled by or we can say handled by react.js states. Thank you. Great guys. So this is the control co component example. Similarly, when we are working with the control component, we also have uncontrolled components. So now I'm going to create an example of uncontrolled components. And it's also very easy. It's not uh, very complicated. You just need to understand it. So if you understand the control, you can understand, easily understand the uncontrolled as well as. So I'm going to create one more class, uncontrolled component dot js. And I'm going to say it. I'm going to export this class because we need to use it. Look great. And now I'm going to say uh, uh, we are doing the similar work for this. So there's no anything fancy. So uh, what we did in the control, I'm going to use the same thing here. No any fencing thing. So now what I'm going to I'm, I'm going to make one form here. I'm going to say it input. And type, in type I'm going to say it text, which is okay. And I'm going to pass some BRs. That looks good. And now I'm going to say one more BR. So I will add the button here at the last grid. And now I'm going to add one button. I'm going to say it's sub submit. Great, guys. So now I have two uh, input controls. In control, what we discussed, uh, our input values are going to be manageable by or handled by React states. But in the unt control, our input values, uh, remember one thing, uh, in the control and unt control, we, we need to have input control, otherwise we cannot differentiate them. And in the unt control, our input values are not managed by the React state, but it is, uh, it's going to be manageable by JavaScript or the ref the ref which we have just discussed in our previous videos by ref. So I'm going to explain this both concept uh, step by step. So now let me get started. I'm going to use here first ref and whether I'm going to say it like I can write, I can say let input ref and use ref. So I'm going to pass empty here, default value is empty. And now I'm going to say, okay, I need to call this outside. Okay, great. And now if I click on this submit button, submit handler, right? And I'm going to create one function here. And I'm going to say well one value one, and I'm going to say input ref dot current dot value. I'm going to get the value of the first input control, and then I'm going to uh, use the well two, and now I'm going to use the value by ID document ID with JavaScript. I'm going to pass the ID here, and I can say input two. It, its name is input two, and now I'm going to say document dot get element by ID. I'm going to pass the ID and now the value. And I'm going to say it alert well one and concave well two. It's very simple code. You can easily understand it. So this is a second way. This is uncontrolled way. Now I'm getting the values by input references and by JavaScript. So now we need to check it out. It's going to work or not. So all I'm going to say, I'm going to use this. And I'm going to, I'm passing the folder uh, from where we can get this components. And now I'm going to use un uncontrolled BR and passing the BR. And then now I'm, I need to pass this. Okay, great. So now if I go and check it out here, you can see the control uh, control component and uncontrolled component. So first I'm going to use the control component. It's going to update the states by react.js. Hi, I am controlled component. Great. 
backward and now I'm going to say it I am well one value one I am value two but now I'm get, going to get the value with JavaScript and ref which we have just discussed so if I click on here you can see here we are not getting the value why the reason is that this issue we have not bind this ref so I'm going to say ref input ref these little errors actually makes you a good programmer or you can you will never going to forget it and we, you can pass the e dot you can prevent this error uh, like you can, you can write event dot prevent here at the top so it's not a big issue for this you can do it by yourself it's not it's not a big thing in the submit handler you can write event dot prevent uh, default prevent right so it is going to not uh, updating or not going to pass this less i am control hey I am control comp and now hey I am uncontrolled component I am value 2 great so now click on submit so you can still it's there's some issue so we need to check it out what was the actual issue and input drive dot current dot well and the you can see here mistake hey and now value one value two so you can see value whenever this is uh, uncontrolled uh, example and this is a control example i hope guys you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and it's really helpful for all of you to understand the control and uncontrolled component in react.js yes. and i i'm going to update the new topics on react.js yes. please don't forget to subscribe and like and comment on my channel because i'm doing my hard work to actually deliver all the videos in free to all of you so you can understand and uh, this great concepts of react and learn and earn from these videos thank you very much guys have a good day